Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Haste Hobby's Cthulhu Death May Die painting series. Today we will be painting Haster's Disciples. I'll be using the photo from the Kickstarter page as a reference for my own work, rather than the concept art. I never pass up an opportunity to paint orange. Let's begin. These models were prepared and primed exactly like the cultists were in episode 2. I couldn't find a contrast paint that was exactly the hue I wanted to replicate the reference photo. So I decided to mix an orange and a dark yellow together, specifically Griffhound orange and Nasdrag yellow. I'm applying this to the figures with a small brush to avoid streaking and tide marks that may result if I applied too much runny paint to the flat surface of the ropes. I really like the orange and the value dip toward the hem of the robe. Worked out nicely. As with the robe, I didn't have a color out of the pot that matched the purple skirt these disciples were wearing. So I mix Shyish Purple and Magos Purple. Magos Purple is a very weak purple. I would rate it as one of the worst contrast paints of the lot. I probably could have achieved the hue that I got, or close to it, simply by mixing Shyish Purple with Contrast Medium to reduce the Shyish Purple saturation. But since I have Magos Purple, I'm going to use it. The mix I made for this was a little thin. So I was a bit more liberal in my application to get a deeper hue. Also, I wanted it to pull into the robe's edges to create a dark line between the edge of the orange and the edge of the purple for definition. For the flesh, I'm using contrast Gulliman flesh and a steady hand. Classic Tommy guns have wooden stocks and grips, so I'm using snakebite leather to pick out those parts. Scale 75's Inktense Wood is also a great tool for painting woods. I'm using silver to pick out the arcane necklace, and I will be painting the steel components of the tommy gun with a contrast black. But before I do, I'm applying silver to the top part of the gun because the metallic paint will shine through the contrast in a subdued fashion. Next, I'm using a fine detail brush and contrast black to paint the mask and hair of the disciples. This may not seem like the kind of thing you're meant to use contrast paint for, but even on a detail this small, there is variation created by the pooling effect, so I don't need to go back and highlight the mask. Haster's disciples may moonlight as cold-blooded Tommy gun wielding fanatics, but they're not barbarians. Before meeting with their master, they each applied a deep red lipstick. And that completes Haster's Disciples. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. You'll find a list of the products I used in the description of the video below. Tune in again soon as we continue painting minis from Cthulhu Death May Die.